Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing the mask brush tool and I'm inside of Blender 2.92 Alpha. So you may not see this in your Blender if you're using um, a more stable version, but just want to show you what's coming. So open up Blender, whichever one you have, and do new file general. And then let's go to save as. So file save as. And I'm going to put this in a tools folder and we'll just call it masks and save as. So let's go ahead and set up Suzanne for sculpting with some matte caps if you want to, not necessary, and definitely necessary, the multi-resolution. So just go ahead and subdivide that, maybe four or five times, that way we can actually do some sculpting with this guy. So you can do this on any object, but today we're gonna to use Suzanne like we always do. And let's flip into sculpt mode with control tab down, and let's get our mask brush. So we've covered all the brushes. Good job. We've made it this far. Hopefully you're feeling way more, way more comfortable with all these different tools and just know what you have in your tool belt. But now we're gonna talk about some more tools. So really I should call these brushes. These are all brushes. And you can think of these and kind of see where this little line breaks right here. These are um, some of our different tools. So the first one is box mask. And if you see this little tiny triangle to the side there, you can click and hold it. And notice we've got three different options. So we're gonna talk about all three of these today. The box mask, which is default, the lasso mask, then the line mask. Let's start here with the first one. So just make sure you have this box mask. And when you just click and drag, it's going to make a little box outline. See this little dotted line? And when you let go, it's gonna make a mask from that box. And it's gonna be all the way through. So it's kind of almost like you have X-ray box mask abilities. So, you know, if you just wanted to do the eye right here and you just did a little box mask around the eye. It, it looks like you just masked here, but it actually went all the way through the head and is back here as well. So do keep that in mind. And if you want to cut out some of the mask, say if we want to bring this ear back, you can just hold control to do the opposite. So just hold control, draw a box around it. Bloop, and there we go. We've got a little hole around the ear. You know, if we wanted to bring some of this back, we could draw a little box right there. So Kind of, kind of limited if you're, uh, you know, doing organic objects, but there is a time and place that you can use this. Now what we can do is clear the mask. So go up to mask. You could smooth it. You could sharpen it. You could grow it. Increase the contrast if you want it to be darker. All kinds of different things. But for now, let's just clear the mask with Alt-M. And there you go. Now let's switch to the other mask tool, which is the lasso mask. And this one's just like the one before, but instead of doing hard straight edges, you can do super curvy lasso lines and pick out things that you want to mask off. So there we go. Just like before, it's going all the way through, but from this, I could make little you know, tiger stripes if I wanted to. I could make face sets from this. So that is your lasso select. And just like the other one before, if you hold control, it's gonna do the opposite and take out some of these little pieces here. So just take out a little bit of the mask here and looky there, the opposite effect. So now we've got some little tiger stripes, even cooler looking, more organic, made in just a few seconds. So let's go ahead and clear the mask again, just Alt M. And the next mask tool is the line mask tool. And this one's pretty new, but it's just going to let you, you know, like the box one's only gonna go up and down, left and right. This one you can do at angles. So notice you can see kind of a shadow going to the right side of this line, and that's telling you which way it's going to mask. So when I let go, bloop, notice it does that side. And if, you know, I wanted to bring some back, I could hold control and notice now it's going this way and it cut out everything except for that. So go ahead and play with the different, you know, uh, ways you can mask off different things of your design. So, you know, try something like that where you chop off different pieces and that's gonna help if you're doing more organic looking designs like characters or the Suzanne here, you know, something that's not as uh, straight lined like a box or something. So those are the main mask tools inside of Blender. And so let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson, which is the box hide.